Hey, what's up everyone? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to the Ski Channel. We're going to continue on in Lesson 2.9, Controls in Action. In this particular video, we're going to talk about text fields and we're going to talk about some IB outlets. Okay, so go ahead and get your project started. Again, that was called Controls or whatever you may have called it from our book. And we are going to continue on in this lesson. All right. So one of the first things I want you guys to do once you have your controls uh, project back open is to go to the object library and we're going to type in text field. We're going to pull a text field out and put it onto our view here. So I'll put the text field there. I'm going to drag it out to the to the blue guidelines on both sides of the screen. All right. And I also want you guys, I'm gonna give this a color just so we see it in the, um, in the background. So I'm gonna give this like, a, I'll give it a weird color. You can give it whatever color you want. I'm going to give mine this blue color and then I'm going to change the font color to like white or something. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. All right, so white for that color. I'll, I'll keep the system font. I also want you guys to pull out a label. So search label in the object library as well and pull that onto your screen. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stretch it to either side. And I'm going to give this a background of a different color as well, just so I'll know. I'll give it a light gray color. And then I'm going to change the text color from black to white. And I'm going to erase this label uh, text in it. And now we need to connect it. So what we want to do is is we want to be able to type something in our text field and we, and we want to update the label to whatever we typed into the text field. And we also want to connect an action that'll uh, make it change to where as soon as you start editing in your text field, you'll start to see you know the letters pop, pop up. As you can see down here in my console, you can kind of see like a, comp, like a cascading effect. And that's the same thing you'll see. So we're gonna do one action for when we hit the keyboard, once we hit the keyboard, it's, it's gonna print out. And also when we start to edit, if we start to erase or something. So we're gonna do both of those. And then for our label, we're just gonna connect an IB outlet just so we could change the, the you know, update the label to the text that's in the text field. So go ahead and click on the label and let's bring open the assistant editor. And we're gonna connect that. And for our outlet, we're going to put it up here. So what we're going to do is put it right above the view did load. So do control and drag from the label or right click and drag. We're going to keep it as outlet and we'll just name it label. And then for our IB actions, we're going to put that just below the view did load. So I'll make some space. And so we want to make it something descriptive as well. So for the first one, we're going to go with the keyboard was tapped. So click on it, click and drag, make sure it's below the curly brace for the override, override view did load function, change the outlet from outlet to action, the connection type. And then we're going to say keyboard uh, return tapped or enter button was tapped. You can put whatever you like. And I'm going to change the type to a UI text field. And then for this, for the event, we're going to, we're going to change it to primary action trigger. And then go ahead and hit connect. And then for our next IB action, we want to do the editing change. And we can name this text changed or something like that. So what we're going to do is do the same thing. So from the text field, I'll do it from the document outline. Control and drag, 
Make sure it's underneath that last curly brace for the keyboard return tapped. Action. And I'm going to call this text changed. Type UI text field. And editing, instead of editing did end, we're going to say editing changed. So change the event to editing changed and hit connect. Get out of the assistant editor by hitting the standard editor button. And then we're going to go over to our view controller and put in some code. All right, first things first. Ah, uh, pops. All right, I'm going to go there. All right, anyway, so keyboard return tapped. So what we want to say is we want to say uh, if if text no if let text equals sender dot text this is what we want to do we want to print we want to print that text and then we also want our label because now we have access to the properties of the label because we made it an ID outlet so now we can change the text property of the label so now what you're going to do is you're going to call it you're going to say label and as you can see, it says UI label, which is our label up there. So label dot text, the current text, as you can see down here, the current text that is displayed by the label, we want it to equal text. Now, if you hold command and you click on it you, and you hit jump to definition, you can see that this text is referring back to the variable or the constant that we set for the sender dot text. All right. And we're going to do the same thing for the text changed. So we're going to say if let text equals sender dot text. Do your curly brace. We're going to say print text. And we're also going to update the label again equals text all right now go ahead and build and run your app or just command R if you want to build it first you can do command B and then command R and let's see what pops up I hope you guys are having a good day Wherever you are, wherever you may be, thank you for joining me, Ski. All right, so we have our device up. And uh, let me show you guys something. So if, if once when you type on or when you tap onto the text field, if the keyboard does not pop up like it did for me, you can go over here to window on your top bar, click on window. I'm sorry, go to hardware and then scroll down to where you see keyboard and then you can go down to the bottom where it says toggle software keyboard. Another shortcut you can do is command K and that should bring up the keyboard. So now you can just type, type whatever you want, type something random. I'm just going to put something like this. So as you can see, as I'm starting to type, it's printing down there on the console like it should be. I'm going to say this is cool. All right. So so that was our our editing function that, you know, that was triggered. Now, once I hit enter, it should print again. So now that I have the full statement, this is cool. Like I said, hitting the return button or enter button should print it out again. So as you can see, I have two statements that says this is cool. So both of our functions worked. All right, so I'm going to X out of this now. I'm going to hit the stop button. All right, guys, that's it for this lesson. So we went over some things you can do with UI text fields and also with labels. And we also talked a little bit about ID outlets and how you can give access to different actions. Uh, you can give ac access to the properties of different outlets, even though, you know, those actions may not be, you know, the senders. And so, you know, that was the case with our label when we were using it for the keyboard return tapped function and also for the text changed function. 
All right, so you guys stay tuned for more. In the next lesson, we're going to get into gesture recognizers. This is St. R. Edwards with the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for everyone. You guys take care.